the last two in steps and we are live so today we are going to start completely new genre let's say so as you can see as i promised in the previous video we are going to start with this nice kit that's a AC Dorchester from Howler. I think we should have a review already online on our YouTube channel, so I recommend to check it, as well as the article on our website. Why I did decide to choose this particular kit? Because it's a full resin kit with spotage parts, it's completely fresh, so it is quite interesting to build it. And of course, 170 second scale is my favorite. Uh, let me say that uh, all those comments which you will be posting, I don't see them because it's already um, streaming on my phone. I will check them later and if you have any questions I will be replying them in the next video. So do not worry if I am not answering something you are writing there, but still be sure that those questions will be replied and answered in the next video as I said before. As you can see packaging once again I will show it, it's a typical howler box so there is nothing I would say special in a good sense and inside we have all these components which you can see here so we have resin parts packed into the same plastic bag, we have PE thread together with decals and of course we have assembly manual so I would like to start with assembly manual because we are going to build this nice set and maybe I will stand up and check what are you writing there? Because I see some comments coming in. So yeah, not expected. <laughs> well, I promised you, so I'm doing this. Okay, so here is the assembly manual. And as you can see, we have here two pictures of the real vehicle. We have some short history note, but let's switch over this page and as you remember in the assembly in the video review i told you that we don't have any assembly instructions it's just a copy of the page so let's check what we have here it's a marking options do some marking options two marking options and both no actually one is a british and one which was used by Rommel. well i think there are not that many differences on the let's say, external features. So I would rather choose this second one, which was used by Romo. I'm not sure what you think about this marking options. I mean, you are free to comment. I'll check it later, as I said before, but in my opinion, this one might be interesting, especially with these geometrical shapes. It might be interesting to copy them in small scale. So that's all for assembly manual. Nothing special, I would say. And why? Because it is quite simple. I mean, look here, we have this one piece main body, we have these resin wheels, we also have some other parts, so what do we have here? That's a ziplock bag, quite useful in our hobby, store it and use it later, I really recommend not to throw it away. So here we have wheels, that's the lower suspension part, these are two folded tents. As I said in the video review, you can actually, uh, let's say, play them with them and try to copy a version of this extended tent. But I'm not going to do this because I would like to copy the out-of-the-box version of this vehicle. So, yes, the first build will be actually, let's say, easy build. So there won't be any additional uh, tune-ups, let's say. And here you can see also headlamps and taillights which are molded out of resin as well, so no clear elements and we will have to play with this in order to get a um, copy of the headlamps so that we, they will look more or less realistic. So I will put those aside because obviously they will be the last place on this vehicle. Those two parts also going back into the ziplock bag because again they won't be used. Now the main question is about this main base. Of course, obviously we can um, cut away this resin flesh because it will be only extra, which was not needed. As you can see, it is easy to tear it away. Of course, some people might start shouting, what are you doing? Why you're cutting it like this? You're not using the modern knife. Of course, we will use it. Uh, with resin wheels, we will check them later. So I put them away as well. And then we have here a resin base with suspension parts. 
So what I'm interested in is actually if we can feed this part inside without any modifications. So I'm not sure how it will be done. I think it should be like this. And as far as you can see, there has to be some cutting and sewing and sending because otherwise it will be a bit difficult to insert it inside and we will have to do something. Okay, so what do we have here is a small amount of resin flesh. So I'm going to carefully cut it away. I'm not doing the precise cuts in the moment because as you can see, it's just extra bits which are not that handy in our process of dry treatment. Nevertheless, as you can see, they're easy to clean and of course that's not a disadvantage for this kit because it's a resin kit and it's molded by plasma, so molding quality should be more or less good. And it's also quite surprising to see cooperation with plasma though, but from the other side it is a bit more or less obvious because usually these companies stand together on the same stand during the Nuremberg toy fair. So you could expect that they will cooperate together. Okay, so what I see here is that this resin base will have to go away because otherwise we won't be able to try uh, this suspension base together with main body and now with this actually here we have a bit more resin flesh okay now we should sew it away and I'm not sure which tool to use because of course we have this small sew but I think we should use something heavy duty like this it's a Tamiya saw, you can buy it in any good model shop, I think. As you can see, it's a plate craft. So it's not advertising because I bought for my own, <laughs> with my own money, let's say so. And you can do so as well. I wonder how we should start it. I think like this, so that we won't damage any details on the rear surface. Actually, I'm now researching the way how it is possible to do the live stream through the normal camera, let's say, because now I'm doing it through mobile phone. You can notice it with the quality of this video and, of course, with the quality of the sound. But I hope it's not that bad as it could be, so just hold up, I think. The next videos will be better because maybe I will finally find a way how to do the proper thing. Okay, I guess we need a proper saw here. Okay, now it's gone. As you can see, we have a bit of leftover here, but Fortunately, nothing is damaged on the rear surface, as you can see, so we are good to go with additional changes. I see some comments, so just let me to check it. Okay. So, what we do here, um, I think, yes, it should be straight because I see on the marking guide that it should be like this cut away, so what do we do with this? That's actually quite an interesting question because uh, I'm not sure how to do the precise cut on this board and it will be a bit tricky process because with a knife we can do something not that precise let me clean a bit of the large and we have to do it somehow so what I suggest to do is to so the way gradually so just give me a second so 
it's always fun to work with resin kits because, I mean, plastic kits are easy. You just separate the part and you're good to go. But with resin kits, you do all the stuff you can imagine you can do with model. You sew it, you trim it, you send it. Maybe sometimes you even boil it in order to get the proper shape. But of course, boiling is not the exception with plastic kits because plastic kits sometimes also require the boiling in order to get them into the proper shape. But with resin kits, it's even more funny, especially if you work with uh, aircraft kit. By the way, note here on the rear surface we have some let's say concave shape bursts maybe this for air bubbles so we will have to work with them somehow in order to mask them maybe we'll make it as scratches maybe we'll just fill them in i'm not sure about it okay Why I'm working on this table, that's actually a different table from what you saw in the previous builds because recently we moved to a different flat and now I don't have a proper modern table. It's a small one from IKEA and I hope it will be enough for me, enough for this hobby. But of course nothing can stop two modeler from assembling a model. So, I guess that's just a minor problem, which will be solved in the upcoming month. And I will actually have the proper modeling station. So now it's becoming more or less what it should be. Just give me a second to use this more so. So that... Mm -hmm. I think actually we can do it like this. Okay. So be careful with the dust which is created when you sew in the resin bits because sometimes you can accidentally inhale it and then you will have a problems. So either wear a mask or be crazy like me and don't wear it. Anyway. Now it's more or less working out as it should be. Maybe it should be the other. No, it should be like this. First, at first I thought that it should be other way around, but I think it should be like this. And yes, now it fits inside. I'm not sure actually about this frontal section. Just give me a second. Actually, it should be inserted even deeper into the vehicle, so it should be like this. Yes, now we have it in the proper shape. So here you can see it in the place. Actually, I'm not sure if we should use a super glue or CA glue, the one, I mean, which one you prefer. Because, as you can see, it's more or less tight fit and, frankly speaking, I hate to use CA glue in such large spaces when they are tight fit. Of course, I will have to remove it in order to, uh, let's say, brush away all the resin dust, but otherwise it's, it looks quite good. And I think maybe I'll add several dots of CA glue, but I'm not sure here or there, maybe on this surface and also on this surface. I won't do it now because uh, I don't have CA glue with me, I have to remove it out of the boxes, but otherwise, as you can see, let me insert it back again. So here it is, it should be like this. So we can even do the stance vehicle, right? Anyway, let's move to the wheels then, with wheels. As you can see, we have them on those nice uh, bases and I won't remove them off the resin bases. Why? Because 
it is better for the painting. What I'm going to do is actually cut way a bit in order to leave something like this. I will show it in a moment. It should be more useful for painting purposes, but be careful because something like this can happen. As you can see, it was broken away, so now we play along and we just clean this part in order to have the clean wheel. Maybe I'll even sew it away or maybe just cut it away. Just give me a second. Okay. So now we have sew it a bit. Actually, I'm also repeating my question, which was in the first video, in the announcement video. Tell the time which is better for you. I mean, I'm thinking about this particular time, the same as this live stream. Why? Because it's evening, it's Sunday evening, but I'm planning to do it even more often, but evening at Prague time, 8 p.m. is more or less nice time to sit together, to build models and to talk about models. Frankly speaking, I uh, this summer was quite, I would say, chaotic. So I missed some modeling events. As you saw, I came back on this posing model exhibition, which was quite interesting to see because there were plenty of interesting builds and if you missed it, I recommend to check because there were um, really nice aircraft models and tank models. What surprised me was that there were less armor builds, there were more of aircraft builds. Here you can see by the way how the wheel will fit into the wheel arch. Looks nice. But I would rather paint and weather wheel separately because as you can see once you insert it inside it's already half hidden. And of course you can also weather the wheel arches which is also quite nice so that you can have some dirt inside. But of course I'm kidding because you don't have a dirt in the uh, desserts where this vehicle was used but still you can add some dust or maybe some other weathering which is usually present on those vehicles. Okay, I won't cut away these small resin bits because otherwise as you saw it is easy to break it away and it will be tricky to paint those parts. Another option which I'm actually thinking I might use is to glue those wheels into the place and leave them on this suspension piece like this, cover them with primer and then have them painted, weathered and then glue them into the main base. It might be a bit more tricky because you have wheels from all four sides but from the other side it will be easier to paint two pieces separately. Well, I'm not sure, I have to think about this. But what I'm 100% sure is that I won't install the small pieces into the place. What I might install is this small bonus, which is hidden aside. Of course, I won't use decals at the moment, so we put them aside as well. Here we have P parts and with P parts we have quite funny situation because as I said before we don't have assembly manual for this um, for those pieces and I might actually request from manufacturers so that they send me the scheme how those parts should be applied through I mean on the vehicle because otherwise it will be just a guesswork and we don't want to place these nice and painted pieces into the wrong spot. So I'm going to write email after right after this video so that we know where to apply these parts. Maybe it will be handy to you as well for you as well. So it's really interesting to see how these parts will be used. But as you can see 
We've done the first step. We sold off this rear section, this small resin base. Once again, I remind you that it is casted by a plus model. So now we have clean top section. We have also the suspension part ready to be inserted. We have also to decide on how the wheels will be placed in the vehicle. So I would be happy to hear your opinion about this, I would say, feature. And that's pretty much all for now, because as you can see, we are limited by the absence of CA glue. I have to find it. And actually I planned to have this first video quite short. I'm not sure how long it is now, 20 minutes, so it's not short. But anyway, what we have to do now? Ask for the assembly instruction for P parts. We have to decide on the wheels as well. And that's pretty much all for now. And of course, find CA glue or buy it so that we can place everything into its spot, um, design spot where it should be. And of course, this knife won't be used anymore because I usually use it for large elements. And as you saw, we already sold off this large resin base, so it will go into the shelf. And for the next elements, we will use this small saw which you can buy in any good model shop, of course. So that's all for this video. Again, I'm happy that you joined us today, that you decided to watch and even write some comments. Thank you for watching and I will be online in several days, of course. Maybe I'll even announce it on our Facebook page in advance so that you know which day, which time I will be online showing what we are doing next with this small AEC Dorchester. Andre, hi, oh, привет. And once again, I'm saying that I'm already finishing this video, but I will be happy to see you on the next online stream with our model build. Thank you for watching and see you soon.